Shalom, first and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly called God, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you. I say Shalom. Your thirst for prosperity will be a snare. All right. And this is to a lot of Jakes out there that know that they're Israelites. All right. Because the ones that, the ones that may, that, that, that may come into the truth. All right. That are thinking about the truth. This world and prospering in this world won't allow them, won't let them. Because a lot of these Jakes out here that know about the truth, they know that the Israelites, they're still attached through this world because they want to prosper. All right, that goes back to the Christianity, you know, their the prosperity doctrine. All right, that, that's a snare, all right? Because eventually you're going to have to, it's going to be one or the other. It's going to be your, your life in this world, prospering, you know, money, being comfortable, or sacrificing for your how about Shemar Shah, sacrificing for righteousness sake, all right, you know, uh, denying your flesh, because your flesh wants to prosper, your flesh wants to have, you know, uh, uh, luxurious things and, and be rich and be on some type of level in the society, all right, but the spirit is telling you, hey, that's not the way to go, the spirit is, is it should be telling you, all right, if the, if the Lord has opened your eyes to see and the Holy Spirit is dealing with you that, Yo, Lord, just give me enough to get by. Let me just make it to my next paycheck. Okay, let, let me just make it through this month. Let me just make it through this week. Let me just make it through this day. All right, but our people are are are, are looking in the future like it, it, it's, it's something good in the future for our people, good in the future for as far as prospering, as far as, you know, growing and, 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 and you know, uh, uh, building a business and, and, and you know, just... You know, Jake talk about generational wealth and all that stuff. We ain't going to be here that long. America don't got that much longer. Why you niggas is thinking, you know, 5, 10, 20 years down the line, okay, this place is going to be destroyed. And if you still waiting and sitting and waiting for, for, for to prosper or waiting for a handout from Esau, you niggas is waiting for uh, a reparations, you, 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 it's, it's, it's useless. You're wasting all the, you're, you're wasting your time pretty much, Okay. And all that wasted time, you could be getting right with the Lord. You could be coming back to your heritage because that's a snare. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a snare. And Esau puts that snare. It's like a it's like a, 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 um, a, a carrot that you put in front of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the horse to make him walk, to, to, to make him keep going. And, and but but it's a, it's a never ending cycle. It's a never ending. It's an, a, a, a never ending journey. Where you're thinking you're getting closer and closer to the money, you're getting closer and closer to making it. When you become, when, when at the same time you're getting further and further away from the Lord. Okay, so let me start with a um quick script, man, because you know, and I'm going to get into it. Yes, we need money to survive in this wicked ass society. All right, we 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 you know the fiat currency that we currently use, which is really not money, but we need money to survive. But 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 we don't, you know, what I'm saying we. This is not our rest, as the scripture says. All right, we're not gonna, you know, uh, uh, um, like you know, prosper as a nation. All right, yeah, there may be some jakes that may be successful somewhat in the society, athletes and things like that, but that's not even a percentage. That's not even one percent. That's probably not even a half of a percent of the nation of Israel. The script, the scripture says, the nation of Israel is as the sand of the sea. Okay. They can't be numbered. So that's not even a percentage of us. So because the that other 99.9% uh, 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 is suffering, okay? It's still under the curse. It's right along with that so-called 1% of Jake that's actually, you know, that's not actually, but that's the people that, that, that you know, uh, you know, that may appear to be prospering in this world, all right? But this is, this is what it boils down to. Jake is not willing to lose their life in this, in this, in this world. All right, you, your prime example. Look at Kyrie Irving. All right, he knows the truth. Okay, and, and but he's not willing to lose his basketball contract. He lost his his um, his his Nike deal. Okay, even though he may have some other deals, shoe deals on the table, 
but he lost the the biggest shoe deal he could have he had possibly got. All right, but but a lot of these Jakes aren't willing to lose everything, and that's what it's going to take. All right, but this prosperity and trying to make it that's going to be a snare. Esau sets all types of snares. All right, big snares, small snares, and prosperity. That bullshit that Christianity pushes is a snare and has been a snare into our people. How are we going to prosper here? We still under the curses. How the hell are you going to prosper when you still got to pay taxes? Property tax. You know, you got to pay insurance. All these things. You got a business, but you got to pay all this bullshit to get started. Licenses. Okay. And then you start making money, but at the end of the year, you still got to pay taxes. Okay. And Esau is about to put a, a, a stranglehold on all of that. With everything going digital. Once everything is digital, ain't no more cutting the corners. Every, every Everything that you do, every transaction that you make is going to be on the books. Okay? Ain't no ain't no backdoor deals or none of that. All right? Esau is, is, is trying to basically, he's going to try to control everything. All right? This is the book of Matthew 20, excuse me, 16 and verse 25. For whomsoever will save his life shall lose it, and whomsoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right, losing your life in this world is 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 pretty much the de denying your flesh. The things that you, uh, uh, your flesh covets after in this world, you have to deny that. All right, all right. But those, it's going to be those that do lose their life, that may lose their houses and jobs and cars and the worldly possessions that 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 you know that that these people think in this world thing make a man, make, you know, make you successful. What what makes you a man is is, is being a man of the Lord. All right. Uh, um. And the real riches are are these scriptures. Are this is this truth? Is this knowledge? Is this wisdom? The scriptures even says that this this they said this this the uh, 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 um, this wisdom is more precious than rubies and gold. All right. Um, verse twenty six. For what profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And and, and that's and that's that's what Jake does. Jake will sell their soul to the devil. They'll gain the whole world. All right, but have to go out, have to have to catch a missile. All right, they'll gain the whole world, but have to do some type of uh, wicked, perverse, uh, uh, sexual act. Okay, uh, uh, to get uh, uh, to make money, to be prosperous in this wicked ass world. All right, Jake sells out every day. Okay, these niggas, these niggas lose their soul. These, these niggas are like like the elder um, always says that these niggas always wear shades in these interviews because they they they're, they're you know they're empty inside. All right, they 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 don't want people to see their eyes. Their eyes is a windows, uh, uh, to the to the soul, and and you you see the, you look at these. If you ever get a glimpse at some of these entertainers' eyes, they're they're empty inside. They're through. All right, they're defeated, and it, and this devil has done that to it. All right, and it's a snare unto the younger generations that see these guys like Puffy and the did. I mean Puffy and and Jay Z's and the you know these so called successful entertainers. And they want to be just like them. They want to be a rapper. They want to do this. And they think this prosperity of this world is good. But everything is tainted because it's under the hand of this so-called white man. All right? The, everything that this devil is, is has control of is tainted and wicked. And it has destroyed our people. Okay? Um, let me grab Micah um, 2 and 10 real quick. This is Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Everything in this place is polluted. You try to prosper. You try to open a a, a, a store or some type of um, you know retail or something. It's, it's, it's it may it, it may do well for a little bit depending on what you're selling, but eventually it's gonna fail. Okay, and if it is success, successful, this devil is gonna come in and buy you out or or, or or figure out and find a way to take your idea and 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 prosper more than you. And, and, and give you nothing, okay? That's what this devil does because they have the money. This is their kingdom. This They're supposed to prosper here, not us. This is not our rest. This place is destroyed. This is a punishment, okay? <clears throat> this is a, 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 a you know, a, a, a basically like a, a sentence for our people, all right? But our sentence is almost up, all right? Sir, you know, a, a servant under this devil. All right, because everything that we do, hey, it goes right back to this devil. All right, when you niggas think they prosper and you think a nigga like Shaquille O'Neal and these Charles Barkley's and these niggas ain't making no money because somebody has to pay them. Okay, that that that's what it boils down to. All these, it, all even all these rich Edomites, they're indebted to the Rothschilds. All right, through 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 um you know through usury, 
through um, you know, um, you know, all their wicked laws they push forth through through, through taxes. Or right, everything goes the Rothschilds, the, uh, uh, the the elite families. They get they're going to get the bigger piece of the pie always. And, you know, as long as we're in this captivity. All right, let me um, let me grab this First uh, Timothy six, and I'm going to start at verse six. Uh, but godliness with con con uh, contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing in to this world, and it is certain that we carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. All right, it's all about being content. All right, the scripture says, "Give us this day our daily bread." Just worry about your daily bread. You got, you know, you got enough food to get you by to the next day. Great. If you got enough money to put in your car. You know, you you know, to the next day, or or just whatever you need to to receive your daily bread. Be content with that. All right, don't be worried that you don't got a uh, 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 this type of car, or you live in this type of house, or you know, you got a uh, 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 a stack of money. So what? Okay, because all those niggas with the cars and the houses and the mansions and the stacks of money, they they a lot of them are already compromised. They can't come into the truth. Okay, they're compromised, and and they receive their consolation, as the scripture says. Okay, that that's a consolation prize is is pretty much the second the first the first loser. They're not going to be on them chariots. Okay, they're not they're going to have to if they're Israelites they're going to have to come into the kingdom, all right, through the loins of the elect and be shamed and know that they had to partake in the second death. All right, what type of legacy is that? You got all this money, you got all this fame and glory and these houses here, and you know you think you're doing it big, but you're going to be destroyed. All right, you're going to have to come back. Through the loins of your leg, you're going to be shamed in the kingdom. You're going to have your head down, okay? You're, everyone's going to know that, yo, this nigga was, they ain't worried about who you was in the world. They're going to know that you was a two-third, okay? That's going to be your story, all right? Because a lot of these niggas, they, they, they want it now, all right? They, they, they're not willing to wait, all right? They're impatient, all right? That, that's what Jake's problem. And that's a trait of Esau. Esau, um, he sold his birthright because he was impatient. All right, he had no faith in the Lord. He was said he was in the field in, in what is it? Uh, Genesis the uh, twenty seventh chapter, no twenty fifth chapter, where Esau says he was he was faint. Uh, he, he's gonna he, he thought he was gonna die. What what does a birthright do for me now? All right, he didn't have faith and pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He wasn't a spiritual man. He was a carnal man. And that same trait uh, is is what our people do. Our people, you know, they they have no patience. Okay, as the scripture says in um, the book of John uh, 8 and 44, uh, you are you are of your father, the devil. All right. And Yahweh Shah was speaking to wicked ass Israelites, you know, when he had spoke that. All right. Because a hey, a hey, in his time when he walked the earth and, and, and um, it's the same wicked niggas that are back today. All right. Thinking they on a level, thinking they got something, thinking that, you know, it's a lot of niggas out there that think that this truth ain't, ain't it, it ain't about shit because. It's not prospering, all right. It's not, you know, you you can't make no money, and and, and there's a lot of wicked ass Israelites in Israel that do profit off the truth, and, and a lot of them are compromised. A lot of them don't teach the things that they're supposed to do because it's about that money. It's about that filthy lucre. It's about prosperity. It's about uh, uh, um, giving that image that you know, yeah, you can be an Israelite and you can ball out. You can be an Israel. You can be an Israelite and have a bunch of money and have a status. It ain't about us, okay. It, 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 we don't have a status. Our status is a servant of Yahweh Shai. Our status is a prophet and a humble prophet at that because the Lord, these niggas got to realize this ain't our truth. All right. These ain't our break. These breakdowns is coming from Yahweh Shai. All right. The Lord don't need us. All right. So back to the scripture. Um, verse nine, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. All right. Being rich in this world is going to it, it, it takes your mind off what's important. All right. Serving your how about doing his work, doing his will. OK, it says, but they that be rich fall into fall into temptation and a snare and into a many foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. All those things that come with prosperity, riches, the fame, the, those are the things that destroy you. OK, because, yes, like I said, we need money to maintain and get through the society. But the Lord is just, you know, if the Lord is dealing with you, he's just going to give you enough. OK, and he may throw you a bone every once in a while to help you get, you know, whatever your your your, your needs are. But the Lord is, is is 
the Lord, you know, hey, the Lord knows, you know, our spirit and our limits. Okay, the Lord is it, 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 money is a, is is a defense, as the scripture says. Okay, but you know, it's not something that you should be coveted after coveting after in this wicked ass society because it's a snare. All right, everything that money brings is going to take you away from the truth because money, what comes with money is comfort. All right, you know, being comfort, being comfortable in this place. And when you get comfortable, you get complacent. All right, you you become you thinking, oh shit, you know, hey, 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 you know, maybe you know the Lord don't come until 2024, 2025. So you know, I could, like, no, nah, it, it 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 don't work like that. We don't know when the Lord is coming. So when the Lord makes his when the when Yahweh he finally sends his son back to redeem the elect and destroy this place. You, you was so, most of these niggas are gonna be so caught up in their money and prospering and, and, and fame, it's gonna be too late. Okay, um, verse ten: For the love of money is the root of all evil. For for while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. All right, that that that, that money is the root of all evil. Okay. While some covet after they have erred from the faith. And a lot of Jakes out there that have erred from the faith because of money. All right. Whatever, however it may come, it's going to be a snare. If you get it, you say you come up upon some money, do good with your money. Help the brotherhood out. You know, pay off debt. Okay. Do things that's going to help you prosper in this truth, in this ministry. Okay. Not things that's going to put a snare on you. Oh, I'm going to try. I got this little money. I'm going to try to open up me a business and, and do, man, Forget all of that shit, all right? That's not going to, it, it never prospers, it, it's never prosperous for our people, all right? Whether we, whether they had a, 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 a business for 10, 20, 20 years, eventually it's not, it, it's not going to prosper them because like I said, this system is going to go all digital and, and with the digital system comes that MOTB and that MOTB is that CHIP. So if you want, you, you want to be a successful business owner, you want to have, you know, it's, it, it, that that comes with a price, all right. And, and if you if you're willing to take that that MOTB, that price is pretty much your life, all right. Thermal nuclear fire, all right. That that's the price of prosperity, pretty much in the, in the society because everything is going digital, all right. So ain't no ain't no like I said, ain't no shortcuts uh, in Esau's world no more, all right. Ain't no beating the government, ain't no none of that shit. This is um. Proverbs chapter 28 and 6, better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich, all right? It's better to be poor and, and, and lowly and humble and meek and walk in uprightness, meaning walking in righteousness, than, be, than, than, than he that is perverse in his ways, perverse, wicked, all right? Uh, uh, um, uh, um, you know, just, just being a wicked ass nigga, though he be rich. Who wants... Who, you a wicked nigga, but you rich. You got money. You know that that it may it may look good. It may in, in the society, but that don't bode well with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, the Most High is going to destroy a lot of these niggas and they riches. All right, but they think that oh, like a nigga like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. He he knows the truth. All right, but he he can't he ain't gonna come into the truth because therefore he would he would lose some of his riches. He would lose whatever contracts he has, all right? He may not lose it all, but he's going to lose some, okay? But he's not willing, uh, uh, someone like that is not willing to uh, uh, sacrifice for your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, let me grab this because it says, um, verily, um, there's a rich man making it into heaven. Um, this is Matthew chapter 19 and verse 23. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go to the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter in the kingdom of the Most High. And the eye of a needle is is like a, um, like a uh, think about it as like a, um, a doorway. And a camel is stubborn and he doesn't want to, you know, stoop his head down. And it's easier for a stubborn ass camel to put his head down under that doorway than a rich man to enter, enter in the kingdom of heaven. All right, the kingdom of the Most High. Why is that? Because that rich man, he not, he doesn't he doesn't have faith. He puts his faith in his riches and not in the Lord. All right, but at the same time, if if that rich man had wisdom, he would say, "Well, shit, the Lord gave me these riches. I, I was able to obtain these riches through the a skill that the Lord gave me. 
therefore, you know, I'm, I'm able to, you know, have these riches. But if the Lord gave it to me one time, what who who to say the Lord won't give it to me again? But a but a rich man is is a carnal minded man, and he's not going to think like that. All right, a rich man is going to think like, well, my maybe my money can save me. Maybe I can hire people. I can hire bodyguards. I can build a bunker. That's what a rich man is thinking. A rich man is not thinking about the kingdom of heaven. A rich man is trying to save his ass, save himself and his riches. All right, let me grab, um, go back to Proverbs uh, 23 and verse 5. Will I set thy eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards the heaven. Hey, one minute you one minute you making it, you got money, and one minute you don't. All right, that that's how. Hey, that I mean, it's like the scripture says, nothing for the Most High to make a, a poor man rich and a rich man poor. Okay, but but it says riches certainly make themselves wings and fly away. All right, and, and the riches of this world, the true riches, are um, this knowledge and this wisdom. Okay, this knowledge and this wisdom. It, it, the scripture says, Isaiah thirty three and six, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability. Of thy times, um, let me grab. Oh, oh, excuse me. I wanted uh, wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter seven. It's seven, um, verse uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, and verse eight. I preferred her before scepters and thrones, and esteemed riches nothing, nothing in comparison to her. And this is talking about referring to wisdom. Neither compared. I unto her any precious stone because all gold is respect of her is as little sand and silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above all health and beauty and chose to have her instead of light and for the light that cometh from her never goeth out. That's that that's that wisdom. OK, the light of this truth. All right. These scriptures that that light will never go out. OK, but 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 your health and you know, all those things, beauty and, and, and riches and scepters and throne, all that stuff fades away. OK, but the wisdom is something that you can get that sticks with you forever. OK, and and, and, that, and this is true wisdom. Let me see. Is there anything else? I love her above health. Oh, Slocky, I read that. Um, I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them and knoweth not that that she was the mother of them. I learn diligently and, and do communicate her liberally, I do not hide her riches. For her treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use they that you they that use become the friends of the most high, being commanded for the gifts that for the gifts that come from learning. Let me uh I want to go back uh to this chapter. I think it has something to say also about you know wisdom. Um, as as comparing wisdom to uh, riches, um, uh, maybe I'll come back to it. Um, oh, let me grab. Let me go back to the book of Proverbs, because uh, Proverbs chapter eleven and uh, verse four. It says, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from the dead. And we're coming to the day of wrath. We're coming to the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's wrath, um, which is going to pour out upon Israel. And those riches are not going to profit you in that day. Okay, and the closer and closer we get, these niggas are going to, you know, try to hoard up more money and and, and, and niggas, niggas gonna be trying to get gold, and you know, yeah, that 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 works. But a, a, a wicked ass nigga in the world is not thinking like that. Okay, he's not thinking about bartering and, and you know uh, and, and storing up, um, you know, uh, um, having you know, basically know how to put it like this. The spirit of the Lord is not gonna be moving with a nigga whether he got some gold or silver saved up or not, because his 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 faith in his, this faith is hasn't been built up in your by Shimei was shy. All right, so he may have some silver coins or some even some gold coins, but he won't know how to use them. He won't know the the, the real value of them. All right, when that time comes, because his faith is not built up. His 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 pockets may be built up, but his faith is not built up. All right, um, let me jump over a few chapters uh, to uh, Proverbs thirteen and seven. There is that uh, actually. Um, 
yeah, yeah, this is kind of speaking on wisdom also there, is that maketh himself rich, yet have nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet have great riches. It says he's making himself rich and he has nothing because he doesn't have the true wisdom. All right, but this is a man that makes himself poor and he has great rich, uh, great riches because the poor man has, has wisdom. Because the, 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 the wisdom of this world Excuse me, the wisdom of this truth is despised. The poor man's wisdom is despised. And the, the prophets, you know, are that poor man in these last days because we may not have the the the, the, the glorious garments and, you know, uh, these fancy ass Passovers or, or all this glitz and glamorous bullshit that these, a lot of these Israelites groups have, like the IUIC, I'll speak on them, and, and several others. All right, but we have this wisdom. We have 100% truth. All right, we have the names of Yahweh Hashim Shah. All right. And those are the things that that matters in, in these last days. All right. I had a few more scriptures I want to grab, um, you know, concerning, you know, money, because Jake, Jake, you know, Jake is simple, man. Our people are simple out there. And, you know, they, 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 they'll they'll pick, you know, there's all these multiple several Israelite groups out there, but they'll pick the group that's that's prospering, that appear to prosper, not prospering, be not prospering in, in, in truth and in faith. But but prospering in 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 in, in uh, worldly things like money and you know they got uh, a, a gorilla Hebrew merchandise and all that bullshit. All right, this is uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes chapter seven, and I'm going to go to verse twelve. The the uh, device devise not a lie against thy brother. Well, actually, um, Ecclesiastes. Excuse me, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven. And um, verse 12, it says, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. All right. And there goes wisdom again. Yes, wisdom is a defense. The wisdom is a bigger defense than money. All right. Because sometimes if you use wisdom, you don't even need money. All right. And money is, def is a defense also. All right. Um, I got one more scripture I want to grab, uh, the book of Haggai. Because this is, hey, 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 if 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 you're a Jake with understanding, this scripture right here hits home, hits home, all right? Um, because this is us, this is showing us that we're still under the curses. Whether you do have riches in this world, we're still under the curses. Every Jake is, is catching hell. Every Jake, uh, uh, you know, majority of the Jakes out there, all right, 99.9% .9 of the Jakes, if even more, all right, are, are living this right here, Haggai 1 and 6. Ye have sown much, but bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but ye are none, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages and put it into a bag with holes. All right. So, yeah, you prosper in, in this world, but the more money you make, the more taxes you got to pay. All right. The, 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 you know, and, and we'll never have enough. We'll never be, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, we'll never have an abundance in this society. All right. And that's something that Jake has to get through their head. Okay. And, and it's, it's, you can work your ass off and, and you can, when that check come, Esau taking their percentage. All right. They taking a percentage out for uh, 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 your medical and shit. And then you stuck with the little bullshit. You never have enough. I don't care. I don't care. You know, what type of job you working. All right. You may think you got enough until some comes up. All right, until you need a, a lump sum of money for something. Then you back at square one, struggling, trying to hustle, trying to get some OT, trying to, you know, trying to make it. All right. So it's it's a never ending thing with Jake and this wicked ass society. As long as we got these curses under us and we all under these curses. All right. So your thirst for prosperity is it's going to be a snare to a lot of Jake's, man. And it's already been a snare. OK, but the closer and closer we get where your where your mind should be on, uh, um, um, you know, heavenly things, you, you, you know, holy things, uh, 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 pro um, um, prophecy, okay, storing up your faith, storing up your treasures in heaven, all right, in, in, instead of prosperity, instead of prospering, all right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, 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 Bahashim,